Recently, the press reported that the Crown Princess is threatening her husband with divorce. It was a private and unpleasant incident that became the last straw for Victoria. The couple subsequently tried to save the marriage with the help of family therapy, but all indications are that the attempt failed. Crown Princess Victoria was raised to always take care of everyone else and not to put herself first. Even when she talks about the sexual abuse she suffered, she mostly mentions other women and what they had to endure. Nevertheless, there is no doubt about the seriousness with which she looks at the unpleasant incident she had to endure. Her story came out at the same time that Stapa Prasarna talked about the complicated marriage crisis with Prince Daniel. There must have been an unpleasant incident in the marriage and Victoria is said to be having a hard time with Prince Daniel's temperament and it's not fun at Haga Castle right now. Too bad the couple had separate bedrooms. King Carl Gustav, 75, has been told that he has sided with his daughter. Since that beautiful day in June 2010, Victoria and Daniel haven't had the difficult marriage problems that you have now. After an unpleasant incident in the marriage, the crown princess was so hurt that she ordered her husband not to go with the Swedish Academy Gala at the Stock Exchange in Stockholm's Old Town. This is an incredible betrayal and the crown princess is completely destroyed. This was not on her cards and she is shocked, to say the least, an insider close to the crown princess couple's inner circle told Stop the Press over the disclosure. It was announced from the court that the prince was suffering from a slight cold and therefore could not attend the gathering, which has been a tradition for more than 200 years, however, according to information provided to Stop a Prasarna, the prince was not ill at all, it was a prank. Dot. This cold thing was an afterthought, Victoria just couldn't show her face with Daniel after finding out what had happened. There was no way she could smile in front of the cameras with him by her side, so painfully disappointed and saddened is she, said a source close to the crown princess couple. Victoria, who is very close to her father, was completely honest when she explained the family problems. The king understands and supports his daughter. Moreover, the king has frankly been tired of Daniel for a long time, he doesn't like his style and mood, says a person close to the king, stop press arn. The source also says the king usually refers to Prince Daniel nicknamed Okelbo when he talks about the prince to his friends. He does it in a jovial tone, there is no doubt that he is actually thinking of Daniel, the royal friend states Crown Princess Victoria has not only revealed the marital incident that sparked it all and started the drama. The Crown Princess also told her father how she feels her husband sometimes mocks her, bullies her, and is disrespectful. This is nothing new, he has this style towards her. A lot of people have reacted to it, says a person revolving around the crown princess couple. Stapa Prasarna has been receiving similar information for several years, including from Sapo's bodyguards who served as the family's personal security detail. Even the police officers reacted in such a way that they urged the prince not to speak so badly to his wife. However, it doesn't look like the prince has taken Sapo's criticism to heart. It comes in waves, he's certainly lovable too but I've almost seen more of that other side that ordinary people have no idea about. The ugly is a mixture, too, at one moment sweet, and at another moment mocking and mean-spirited. This is how men tend to push and control women in relationships, it creates insecurity in Victoria, an informant close to the crown princess said. All the problems in the marriage are so serious that the crown princess is now seriously considering what the couple should do. The situation is completely volatile right now and Victoria is said to be threatening divorce. She has told us she is considering it. This news was revealed by SVD in April 2018, and the abuse itself allegedly took place in the mid-2000s. There are several people who must have seen the so-called cultural profile of 75-year-old Jean-Claude Arnault get a firm grip on the crown princess tale. Now Victoria has spoken about the incident for the first time in an interview with SVD. Express and reports, I can't comment on what others saw, but it was not something I myself immediately perceived, the Crown Princess tells the newspaper. At the time of the Meta's fall, Jean-Claude Arnault was accused of several assaults on women, he was later sentenced to two years and six months in prison for two rapes. Two Academy members per Vestberg, 88, and Kiel Eskmark, 91, confirmed they saw Jean-Claude Arnault take Crown Princess Victoria by the tail as she talked to several people. There were three of us talking to the crown princess. It was me, my wife Monica and a third woman, 
Kiel Espmark, told Expressen earlier, the Academy member said Crown Princess Victoria was surprised and turned around after the cultural profile took her by the tail, dash dot. She turned around and said, oh, I thought it was daddy. When Crown Princess Victoria now talks about the incident for the first time, it is noticeable how seriously she takes these kinds of issues. No human being has the right to exploit another human being. I can't comment on what others saw, but it was not what I myself felt then and there. There are so many stories of child and adult abuse. It is important for me to show my support for those who have been victimized, says Crown Princess Victoria, the whole Jean-Claude Arnault mess paralyzed the Swedish Academy and ended with the awarding of the Nobel Prize in Literature having to be postponed for a year. It was very sad. In every way. It damaged reputations, absolutely. I hope that with focused work you can try to fix it to some extent. But it was not a good thing. The Nobel Prize is a really valuable brand for Sweden. What country wouldn't want something like that? It's fantastic that we have it and we have to protect and take care of it, says Crown Princess SVD. When Prince Daniel found out about what Jean-Claude Arnault put his wife through, he was very upset, as previously reported by Stop the Press and which led to a major rift in the marriage. I have never seen Daniel as upset as he was that time. He was very angry but tried his best to hide it from Victoria, one of his friends told Hent Extra. The odd thing about the context is that Jean-Claude Arnault subjected the hereditary princess to his molestations, despite the fact that he was married at the time. He is still married to former Academy student Katarina Frostenson, 68, who has faithfully remained by the side of her husband, who, despite the marriage, decided to commit violence, for which he has since been prosecuted.